This is Mini Motorways, one of my favorite games right now, and we are creating a framed artwork. With clay and cardboard. Clay, clay. I'm going to choose a map right now from Mini Motorways. Play. Hmm. This is probably my favorite. Los Angeles, Beijing. But I don't really like the colors. The Rizalam. This looks nice. Let's play in the Rizalam. Start new city, yes. The idea for this project came when I moved. I moved to my new flat. I thought about what I wanted to hang to the wall. And, well, what better to hang than an artwork from one of your favorite games. <sighs> we start with the background. We start with different layers of cardboard, which we will all put together. To create the illusion of these vector graphics from the game. This is the ochre for the sand, for the beaches, which we have, Coco Beach. And finally, all combined, looks so beautiful. I printed out and mirrored the map of the streets, so that I can use the scissors and the scalpel, cutting out all these beautiful mini motorway streets, and then just use it and glue it onto my artwork. This should go right here. Oh, the island is missing. A tiny island. I'm using the glue stick for this. So if I make a mistake, you can easily remove it. And with the printout at hand, we can use it as our blueprint, figuring out where all the green spots, the dark green grass spots, should go. We will later add some beautiful trees to these areas. For those of you who don't know the game, <laughs> I thought about this, how to describe it to you. What is the game about? Well, building streets and this is probably the most relaxing, hectic game I have ever played. You get this comfy music and you are going to stress out completely when your city is growing. Okay, let's speed this up. As a strategy simulation game, it's all about designing the roadmap for your growing city and also building a traffic network system one road at a time to well to let your city grow maybe also redesigning and removing certain parts adding roundabouts because they're so helpful or traffic lights we switch over to clay now that we have finished all the cardboard elements we need to create all the tiny beautiful houses. We have the cars and also the goals for the cars, which are the bigger buildings with four different colors. Depending on the map, you also get different colors. We have the bright blue. Here you can see one of the goal buildings where your cars want to travel and you need to provide the roads for your cars to make the connections between the houses and the big buildings. It's that easy. Every car makes a declaration by using these tiny marks, which I am creating right now, defining to which big building they want to drive. And then we have also this big marker, which indicates that not enough cars um, can't get to their goals in time. 
so this is a warning sign. When I started playing, I also started seeing the world around me just like the system in many motorways. I thought about where to take stuff to when cleaning up, tidying up my room or um, where I was driving. So everything became mini motorways to me, which made my life a little bit simpler. <laughs> Let's put the clay stuff into the oven. One of the elements which I really like, um, besides the vector graphics, the shadows which we have on one side of the roofs, but also on the sides of the big buildings, the goal buildings. When I started playing this game, I just doodled around. I had no idea how to build the roads. So I have different approaches. Looking for a system is Oh, let's choose the roundabouts because they are really amazing. Choosing a system right at the beginning where you are marking and defining the main roads will make your life so easy. You start bulking that you define certain areas for the homes, for the living areas, then you have some defined areas for all the big buildings and only have to make sure that the main roads are working and not getting too stuffed with cars. Or I try to separate all the colors and try to keep them as long separated as possible. But sometimes this does not work as buildings are popping up everywhere like yellow right now. I know that some players are blocking areas to prevent buildings from appearing, just like that. It comes at a high cost because you need to use your valuable roads for this. And I also don't like it from a visual <laughs> standpoint, but probably it's one of the best tips which I have learned trying to block out areas and prevent buildings from just popping up. We just created this beautiful white outline around the marks. I try to glue them onto the buildings that they are sticking out just a little bit. And for the cars we need to go even tinier. We have the four colors and after oven hardening we will color them, the windshields, but also the lights. These were the last marks. I think the game started on Apple Arcade and is now also available on Steam. Um, I also wanted to mention it's not a sponsored video, although it may sound like this. I'm just a huge fan of, well, a game just like this. Make sure to hit the bell, subscribe to don't miss future videos just like this. Or you can also let me know which game you want to see next on the channel. We have the parking spots. I also painted the bridge and we can now play around with all the cars. Maybe one is sticking out of the garage, another yellow car is about to start its journey. And now let's see if everything fits into the frame. We have the piece of glass. And we also have some infographics from the game, which I also wanted to bring in, similar to my Super Mario framed artwork, which I have done some while ago. Now also the watch and the indicator which day it is, because once a week you get the rewards, new streets, roundabouts, motorways, 
And guys, I guess finally that's it. Mini motorways in a framed artwork. And I can't wait to hang this to my wall. definitely going to hang this at home <laughs> or I put it on clayclaim.com for sale I don't know <laughs> if you have any further ideas what to put inside a frame a framed artwork let me know leave it down in the comments have a beautiful weekend take good care bye